Friends and family of the released prisoners gathered at Washington's Dulles Airport to greet them. Both they and those who landed in the U.S. expressed their surprise at what had happened. We were obviously not told that we were going to be freed. We realized it when they gave us our clothes at night and took us to another cell. They took us in some buses without knowing where we were going. Among the prisoners, those who led the 2018 protests against the government and those with connections to NGOs that received U.S. funding accused of attempting to overthrow President Daniel Ortega. The opposition and the U.S. have maintained that these were civil society figures attempting democratic change through the ballot box. Following their release, Ortega said there had been no deal with the U.S. When they came to ask what our interest was, we said none. Let them take them, that's all. It was not about negotiating. We are not asking for sanctions to be lifted. We are not asking for anything in return. It is a matter of honor, dignity, patriotism, and for them to take their mercenaries away. The U.S. State Department also said this was a unilateral decision by the Nicaraguan government. However, added it was also the product of concerted American diplomacy and that the channels of communication were open between the two countries. This action opens the door to discussion of other matters of mutual concern. The United States remains committed to a dialogue with the government of Nicaragua on these and other matters and will continue to support the Nicaraguan people. It's not clear yet where this detente may lead, though members of the Nicaraguan government and Ortega and his family are under sanction by the U.S. government. Shea Al Jazeera, Washington.